Hi, welcome back to By Grace Beauty. I am going to actually see if I know how to effectively um, blow my hair out. And um, I'm quite nervous about it. Um, <laughs> and I actually don't want to do it. But um, you know how you feel like I just want to, how can I put it? I just really like my natural hair as it is now. You know, now that I'm finally there. Like, I've arrived there and mentally I'm there. Like, I don't want my hair straight. I don't want to wear, I don't even want to wear the wigs anymore. It's really, like, strange the type of epiphany I've had. Um, these last, what, since July, June, is that seven months, eight months? It's been quite the journey. And emotionally and, you know, mentally, you know, it's, you have to get there. Like, if it would have been different had I known that, hey, I'm tired of a relaxer, I'm just going to... Um, big chop and go natural because I like natural hair. That that didn't happen that way. It happened because I just started wearing wigs and I really like wearing all the different styles that the wigs offered. And so I never relaxed or touched up. And I just got tired of detangling. You know, that was quite the challenge. So after a year, I cut it off. And then realized I didn't know what to do. I wasn't prepared for um, natural hair. I wasn't prepared for how that looked. I didn't think that that was, you know, pretty. You know, so then I had to wrap my mind around that. So it's quite, it's been quite the challenge getting to this place. So now that I'm very happy, you know, with where my hair in its natural state. The idea of straightening it, you know, it's kind of like, whatever, why? Why am I going to do this? But I bought some um, hot curlers, you know, the electric ones. And um, I bought them, I don't really remember when, back in October, September, you know, because I was still in that mindset that I'm going to roller set and I'm going to wear it loose and blah blah blah. I think that's when I bought them. And um, I kind of want to just see how it's going to look. So I want to try it. The hot rollers and just see what my hair looks like. Because uh, keep in mind I haven't really been styling my hair for now three years. Two Two years, two and a half. I don't know. Because I've been wearing those wigs. So I really don't know. I think it was like 2010. When I was actually curling my hair and doing all this. I don't remember. But it's been a while. Bottom line is. I don't want to do this. Okay. I don't want to do this. Um, I really like my natural hair, but I just want to try these rollers. So, here we go. I'm just going to tell you what I got going on. I have this brush. I'm going to try this brush. I bought this before I cut off my relaxer. Because <laughs> I just knew, you know, at some point, I was going to, you know, be straightening my hair and not wearing the wigs. So, I've been having this brush for some time. Cause they were someone told me get the round brush and with the bore bristles and it's gonna help to you know straighten your hair out really easily because you know when your hair is relaxed you know how sometimes it don't get straight like you want it to so this is the hot and silky thermal ceramic round reinforced 34 millimeter bore bristle brush that's what it is okay I got it at Sally's way back when. So I'm actually going to use it to help 
straighten out my hair and I'm praying that I don't get any heat damage because I don't need no drama. I don't need no drama. I haven't even really got to the point of really knowing my hair and what goes in it and what makes it great and you know so I'm getting there. But um we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna try it. I have some anxiety. My heart is like palpitating right now. My stomach's a little butterfly this you know so we're gonna see how this go. I got freshly washed hair here and uh I have um a leave-in conditioner. I put the as I am leave-in conditioner in and then I sealed it in with um my hair oil mixer. So mixture so that's in my hair got a little hair oil there so we'll see i sat under a, a cool dryer hoping that i can kind of get it a little bit drier before i go to the blow drying process because i didn't want to spend a lot of time blow drying um this is the blow dryer i have and it's the name of it is gone it's gone gone but this was a conair ceramic tourmaline blow dryer i don't have any of the other specifics because i've had this blow dryer for um some time and um the box is gone so we're just gonna work with it but i do know it's a ceramic tourmaline something it might be 1500 watts i have no idea we're gonna work with that and then for a heat protectant i have the silk elements um Heat protectant. This is the olive oil one. They have two. One is in a tan bottle, which is just a, you know the heat protectant. But this one has olive oil in it. It's in a green bottle. Silk Elements olive oil heat protectant. I don't have the bottle, you know, but I do know what it is. And I got it at Sally's. This spray bottle is much better. So let's get started. So I have my hair sectioned off, and um, it's all detangled. I really don't know how this is gonna go. One of the another reason why I really want to do this is because I would like to trim my ends nicely. Um, I had trimmed my ends when it was in like twist, just clip, clip, clip. But I, I don't, I don't think that that's good enough. So let's start with. I'm gonna start with this section. One section. I have my hair in six sections and probably will cut those in half. Just so I got this comb out to make sure that I'm nicely detangled. And I got a little bit of, just want to make sure. Okay, there we go. Got that going. I'm gonna spray with my heat protectant, and I don't really know. Make sure I get my ends. I don't really know how much heat protectant you're supposed to use. Um, it's a little, I probably put a little bit too much, you know, because that's a little <laughs> shiny looking, but um, I probably put too much. Okay, so the next time. I'll know on the next section not to spray as much. All right, so let's see. Have a towel here to dry your hands off. I'm really, really, really intimidated. I'm really intimidated by this. I think I'm gonna go with a warm setting and high. Cause mine has a warm, cool, and hot and then it has high low and off and then you got the little turbo thing going so i think i'm gonna start with the warm and on high we'll see and i think i'm going to oh it won't go off I don't want to flat 
Okay. Um, embrace your hair. I really, I really, really like it. Okay, so now I'm going to split that section in half because I'm going to go to the brush thing and see how it goes. Okay. me an idea look at these curls and I'll have like really any styling product in it so this is kind of giving me an idea why don't you know when I'm doing my wash and goes or what have you maybe this would be a good way to keep them stretched and to have them dry um dry faster without a lot of shrinkage so this might be an option for me and um I'll try that just an idea I'll try that. Okay, so now I'm going to try the comb to get a little bit more straight here. Spread in the heat. This smells really good. It smells really good. Um... Oh, it's so pretty. So much bounce. Okay. Now we're going to take out all that bounce by putting this heat on it to straighten it out. Why? Why? Okay. I probably won't. I probably won't do this for a while. You can tell that this ain't the vision. This is not the vision. I'm beyond this phase of my life. I'm really loving the natural texture of my hair i know even when it dries it won't look like this but um i'm really enjoying it 